Now the stomach is of course a bit, a bit lower and again you're going around the whole thing around the stomach and again you need this movement okay so just measure that the same as what you did on the chest for the stomach here alright now the next one would be the waist so you need to measure around the waist as well now the reason why we've got the stomach and the waist is because sometimes you know chaps can have a bit of a bigger stomach and of course you need your jacket to go over the top of that alright so the stomach is a different measurement obviously to the waist so you need to take the waist and the stomach now number seven is the hips now the the bottom of the jacket like the skirt part now if I show you this jacket again I'm just going to place this over the mannequin here okay now as you can see this jacket is long enough to go over the hips okay and they call this on a jacket the skirt the skirt of the jacket which of course starts I would say where this belt is about here this is the skirt of the jacket okay so that goes over the top of the hips so again I'll just take that off you need to be taking the measurement around the hip area of the person or yourself and you need to go over the largest part okay otherwise if you don't do that it's going to end up too tight so you need to go over the largest part of the person's body around the hip area now again with the hip area you're going to have your movement lines as well okay so the hip area is around about here okay a bit further down I'd say about here okay and of course you've got your movement lines there as well as you can see how I'm doing it there so when you've done your hips we then need to take front waist length okay now the front waist length is from here which is the shoulder point okay the shoulder point all the way down over the top of the chest all the way down to the waist of the person's body okay so about here on me would be my waist so you need to take that front waist measurement okay and when you've got that again write it down on your sheet now the we've got number number nine here which is arm length okay now with the arm length I'll just show you this with the jacket okay now the arm length you are starting on say me here just where the shoulder ends and your arm starts so just on the turn okay so if it was me we'd be taking it from this point here okay and you need to take that from that point hit there okay and you need to measure with the arm hanging straight and the arm length needs to come down on your hand to this point here okay so it's just what length that the sleeve is going to be and that's the arm length okay so you're taking your measurement from here all the way down make sure your arm's straight to where the hand starts to come out so about here so which is about the correct length when you're wearing a jacket okay so that is your arm length now upper arm it it's one which obviously measures the width of the person's arm so you can get the, the correct width of the sleeve itself okay now the arm would be around there okay now obviously there's nobody in that sleeve um, but that is what you're taking so for instance on me my arm would be around there like so as you can see there that would be my arm measurement okay and again you need a bit of movement there okay and that would be the arm measurement okay so that's upper arm that's number 10 on your measurement sheet upper arm now number 11 is the shoulder length all right and what we're doing is we're measuring one shoulder so we're going from here where the neck starts here all the way to the end of the shoulder point which is about here okay so we're going from the neck straight down to the end of the shoulder length here where your arm starts just to that point there 
Now, number 12 is both shoulders. And what you're doing is going over both shoulders and the neck. So you're going from one shoulder, across the neck, down the other shoulder as well. Now, if I show you that on my mannequin here, what measurement that actually is, is we're going from here, across the top of the shoulder, along the back of the neck, right along to the other side to this point here okay so right across this back shoulder point and neck along there get that measurement and note it down on your sheet now we've got number 13 which is the back width okay now what you're doing is you're measuring a bit further down across the arm and we're just going across the back width of the person here okay so straight across the back width there so take that measurement and that's your back width measurement which is number 13 now once you've got all of those measurements you have then completed the process for all the measurements ready for your jacket okay so when you've done that you can then go on to the next video where we're going to start our pattern construction preparation. So I will see you in the next video.